Inflammation is a critical innate defense in the war between microbial invaders and their hosts. Microorganisms trigger inflammation when they're introduced into the body and begin to grow and produce compounds that damage host cells. Resident immune cells called macrophages may wander into the infected area and engulf the invading organisms. The macrophages digest the material and in this way help clean up the infection. In response to the infection, macrophages release a number of chemicals, including those called cytokines. Cytokines are small proteins that regulate the immune response. Some diffuse into the vasculature and stimulate endothelial cells to express specific receptors called selectins. Selectin binds to carbohydrates on the surface of neutrophils, snagging the cells as they flow by in the bloodstream and slowing them down such that they roll along the endothelium. Inflammatory signals trigger these rolling neutrophils to express adhesion molecules called integrins on their surface. The integrins lock onto adhesion molecules called ICAM1 and VCAM1 on endothelial cells. The tight adhesion stops the rolling and the neutrophils begin to stretch out along the endothelial surface. Damaged tissue cells in the area of inflammation release bradykinin, a 9-amino acid polypeptide that helps loosen the tight junctions between endothelial cells. Neutrophils can now initiate extravasation, in which they squeeze through the loosened endothelial wall and into the tissues, where they can help macrophages attack the invading microbes. Bradykinin molecules also bind to other cells of the immune system called mast cells that are in the area, causing them to release histamine. The histamine further loosens the endothelial cell junctions, allowing more fluid and cells to move out of the capillaries. Bradykinin, when it attaches to capillary cells, induces the cells to synthesize prostaglandins. Prostaglandins stimulate nerve endings causing pain, which draws awareness to the infected area. The five cardinal signs of inflammation are redness, warmth, pain, swelling, and altered function at the affected site.